Well, here I am, the third straight day, back at the family lodge. And it's 52 degrees outside. My temperature's down to about 200. I'm not boiling over anymore. Why would you say I boil over? Because this water system has just got me aggravated. And I think I know what it is, and I think it's a problem that I caused. I'll talk about that in a little bit since I get everything opened up. Let's see whether or not the pump's holding water. Yeah, it's up about 18 pounds. See how much it's leaking. I need to tighten the joint there and I need to cut back the pipe a little bit there. Yep, that's still wet. Yep, that's still wet. And the geese are still a pain in the butt. Today's gonna be a get off my lawn type of day. Frustrated. Let there be light. And there was light. Well, I'm going to go ahead and open everything up. I'm hoping I know what's wrong with the water system. It shouldn't take me that long. But then I got to. A couple other things. The tires on the lawn tractor did not hold air too well, so I bought some uh, tire flat to put in them. That's a bunch of doors got to be fixed since I get all the everything else ready. here without measuring the and measuring these handles if you can see down here getting a little uh, <laughs> ripping in the metal from use They've got replacements, but I need to uh, measure those to make sure that I'm getting the right size. The front tire looks like it's holding air. The back tire looks like it's holding air. <clears throat> I brought a tire gauge so I can use that. Well, I'm going to get set up and I'll show you what I think is wrong with the water here in a minute. Okay, I guess it's true confession time. Last year, I took the old pump and took it apart, cleaned it really well. And uh, when I tried to start it this year, it got, it started, but then it had a hard time getting over 20 pounds of pressure. It was time for to replace that one anyway. But uh, as soon as I did this one, Put the new one in here it's having a hard time getting over 20 pounds of pressure so after problems with the lawnmowers and everything else i was just really frustrated yesterday so i decided to leave and uh, the retiree was getting cold even though it was 62 degrees but i was uh getting frustrated and i never do that great of work when i get frustrated so i got to thinking one of the reasons for not getting over 20 pounds if the uh, impellers or the dispenser disperser are not working and i got to thinking i in order to try to help with closing it up the uh, water system i replaced the plug that's in the bottom of this body with this valve i thought it would clear 
the disperser. But now I'm, now I'm thinking that uh, it goes far enough into the body that it's hitting the disperser and the disperser is not turning. And that could be why the pump was actually getting a little warm on the other one that the disperser on that one was rubbing. So, one of the things I want to try this morning, I'm just going to back that off. I'm, I need to take all the pressure off eventually and stop these leaks. And I need to uh, replace a couple of uh, shutoff valves in uh, the bathrooms. But I am just curious, so I'm going to try backing this switch off, this valve off, until I can uh, and see if it'll work if the pressure starts building. And uh, I'm going to replace it with the uh, valve anyway, or with the uh, plug anyway. But uh, I have the feeling that may be what's causing it. So uh, let's get in here. This is Titan. Try. To loosen this. Hopefully it doesn't go shooting out from there's very low pressure now, but that's one turn. So let's see what the pump does. Let's take a second turn off of it. Leaking pretty good now, let's see. Fifteen. And that's an eighteen like a seven now. Yeah. See the body just make sure. I mean that's cold water coming in here, so it might take a while, but I just want to make sure it's not easy then. Let's take a half a turn. No, that's really starting to leak. turn this off and I'm going to go ahead and do all the tightening that I need to do. Plus I brought a uh, air gauge. I want to make sure that there's uh, plenty of air in the tank bladder. And I'll turn you back on when I get something started. You know, I was positive this is the problem, but when I look at these, the uh, The plug is just as high as the valve, 
And I think it's just as wide as the valve. It may have a little bit less area, but then when I look at the top here, it doesn't look like it's been scratched or anything, so. But I'm still gonna put this back in because this is one of the differences. I still haven't, I need to get the uh, air gauge out and uh, see how much pressure we got in there. Although I don't know that that would affect the pump building pressure. We'll see. Okay. The tire gauge would not show me anything when I put it on there. So I broke out my, uh, I pulled the SUV over and I brought out my air pump and it is showing 13 PSI which I don't think is bad but it ain't the greatest so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pump it up to 20 pounds and uh, see if it holds it's loud so I'm gonna turn you off here I just noticed on the side of the tank we are running 30 to 50 PSI and it says the pre-charge should be 28 PSI. So I'm up to 15 pounds here, but I increased the uh, memory to 28, so this should turn off automatically at 28. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you listen to all the noise and see what happens. Long enough, turn off. 28, 28.5. I'm gonna go ahead and put that plug in there while I let this sit and see if it maintains its charge. Let's see whether or not that bladder is good. I've got the thread tape 
on the plug. See if I can get started here in the blind. Sixteenths. Oh, move you over just a little so I get my head in here. Tight enough. Let's check the. It's holding at 28.5, so we'll go ahead and take this off. If my tires take it off fast enough so you don't lose too much air. Measuring anything. My pockets are free. Yep, I guess I'm gonna turn you off while I want to test it to see what it read with the uh, that gauge. I'm gonna turn you off till I start working again. Well, I finally found it. Didn't you know I put it back on the in the SUV console? Yep, it's measuring 20 some. Boy, this. Takes a lot of pressure. Two, four, six, eight, twenty-eight. It's measuring twenty-eight. So I'll put the cap back on here. We've got to change out the pressure gauge as I was changing things out yesterday. Oh, this one got damaged. Yeah, somehow I must have pushed on it, and the scale is leaning out so i've got a new one here to put on and i've got the thread tape on it already Output stack here. There we go. It is also a nine sixteenths. Don't want to use the body too much. That's how I got damaged yesterday. Now I'm going to uh, see if I can't move you back here a little bit. I've got stuff on the floor. It's in the way, of course. I'm going to uh, remove the hose and uh, 
I'm going to take one more turn on this to tighten it up. And then I'm going to cut a little bit of the hose off where I think it's causing a leak. socket pipe clamps for this I gotta shut the door yeah from taking it off and putting the screwdriver in there I think I ripped it back a little bit Yes, I did all the way here. So I'm going to want to uh, cut it right there. In fact, I'm going to get the saw and mark it so I'll know exactly where I want to cut it at. So while I'm doing this and thinking, I don't know that it was that valve. We'll see. The tank was not charged up much, but I don't think that would cause it. So the only thing I can think of other than that is I'm going to have to go out in the lake and check. There's a good mark. I'm going to have to check the uh, intake valve out there. It's a check valve. It gets coated with stuff, but I don't know why that would cause the pressure not to build unless uh, it was blowing back out that way and I would have thought I'd see bubbles coming up, which I didn't. I clamped it on there so tight. It is really stuck. about a quarter of an inch. off this pipe clamp or this retainer so that I can uh, get a little more leverage Oh, there it 
game. And now I need to cut about an inch of this off. This would be much easier if I had a pipe cutter, but the one I had broke. Get a uh, utility knife and clean that edge off. Nothing is easy down there. This is off. I need to tighten this. It was leaking. Leaks now, we got problems. Now I'll take a little Dawn dishwater, dishwashing liquid, and make it slick. This would help if I still had my heat gun. You could heat this up and soften the pipe. Of course, this would be the hardest part. since I'm blocking you. Okay, I've got everything back together. 
I primed it to where there were no more bubbles coming out. So let's try it. to prime it a little bit more because it dropped immediately back to uh, zero so I gotta go to the lake and get some water here's how we get our water when the pump's not working come out to the pier this is gross with all the concrete trash come through here to go over there to the neighbors and eat all the feed that she puts out for the geese and sore knees down there next to the water. Take my can. And fill it up. And that's how we get the water to prime. This day it was still and I was having to clean the duck off the surface of the water today with the wind it's nice and clear and that is how we get water without a water system my yard looks nice after the Tyree cut it. She's got these many day lilies out here. But she also planted some irises. And there's a big bloom on the left one. And at least two blooms on the right. Looks like something's been eaten on them. But hopefully we get some nice irises. We'll see if we can prime that pump now. I got the pump up to 30 pounds. Is that just because of the bladder now being at 28 and a half? Don't know. I turned on the water outside once there's a load on it, trying to make sure I get uh, the air out of line. It then drops back down to zero. It's almost as if it's not drawing enough water. The only thing I can think of right now, this is about the third time it's gone up to 30 pounds. It's slightly over. We're going to go out to the lake and make sure I'm actually pulling good water out there. I walked out there and where the uh, green plug is. I opened that up. There's no water out there and you don't hear any hissing. Once it got up to 30 pounds and I look at the lake. There's no air going into uh, coming out of the line out there. So off all the uh, shut off valves in the bathrooms 
So it's just going through the filter. And then if I let water off here, it'll come out here. As you can see, there's no big air bubbles coming out. See how much pressure went down. Well, we're down to about 28 pounds. And then we'll bring it back up. And it's just not, it's not drawing enough to push to build. And I'm not sure why. I think I'm going out to the lake. I will not be taking you because I have a tendency to turn over in that John boat when I'm uh, reaching over the side. And I don't want my phone to ring. You can see the pressure. So it's set for 50. And it's set for 55. Went up there pretty quick. If you see me, I am soaked from being in the boat. I pulled the into the inlet pipe up with the check valve and you couldn't even see there was a check valve it was so filled with algae and everything else so i cleaned that all off took the the outside of it the screen is uh stainless steel as the screw is that holds it in place and i removed it cleaned everything made sure it was working when i uh, took and pressed the valve open the pressure shot back at me which means that the inlet pipe has a good draw then isn't leaking anywhere so I just got back from cleaning that the pressure was still sitting at 30 turned it on and it climbed right up to uh, 55 now I'm going to start turning things on and See whether or not it'll uh, cycle properly. There's just a touch of water under here. So that one's basically fixed. I'm going to get this bucket. That's my seat out of the way. Let's see uh, if there's any water under here. Just, just a drop. And I'll uh, redo those, tighten them up in just a second. I've turned off the bathrooms. Let's turn them back on. No big drop. Let's turn the water on outside. And see how much air we get out. I think we just had draw problems. Here, I thought it was my, oh, beat myself up last night. That is broken. I'll be turning the water off here in a little bit. Trying to 
Put that on. Let's see what our pressure's at. Down to 40. If it turns off at 55, it should turn on at 35. So that's. We're just gonna, the toilet stops right before then. Let's go ahead and turn the toilet on in the north bathroom. That should be enough flow to uh, get it to turn on. And then we'll see how fast it goes back up to 55. Of course, it stops just short. Let's flush it again. turns on it. I think it's supposed to be set at 30 and 50, so I think the 55 is a bit high, so... Seriously, let's see. Yep, just slightly over 30. Well, let's flush it again. There it is, turned on at 30. a minute and a half to go from 30 up to 52 to 53 so now we have uh, water pressure I think I'm going to uh, finish the bathrooms and then I'm going to get out of here I'll do the uh, lodge next week so until then take care of yourself stay safe <laughs>